Hello everyone, Jay here from Challenger Approaching and welcome to the unexpected part 7 of my Pokemon Platinum Sprite Ending Tutorial where I'm actually back to talking about sprites. Uh, somebody named Sir Rowley asked me if I knew anything about changing Pokemon icons, which I had looked into nothing about. I had never even looked into this before, but uh, we I talked to him about it a little bit and I looked into what he was describing to me and I kind of got it. So I thought I'd make a little quick video on what I found where it's not highly customizable, but I, I at least can get you where you can do something if you wanted. So what we'll do is get back to our old friend Tink here. Okay, good. And then we'll open up our ROM. Good. And then we're going to go back into Icon Graphic. And that will be here. Platinum Pokey Icon Graphic Narc here. That we can unpack. Because thankfully they're not... Oh, what is that called? They're not... Um, encrypted, that's it. Like the regular Pokemon sprite. So much easier. And now, what got me here is that there are... Many, 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 many sprites in here. One for each Pokemon. And I was like, oh my god. So why is there only one palette? Well, it looks like they don't all use the same palette technically. If you highlight this and view it, you look at this one. So this is what they have for number one, but down here you've got number of palettes, zero to 15. There's only three, but there are three of them hidden in here. And each of these will use one of these three palettes there. Now, what I've seen so far is that I can't, with Tank, tell it to use a different palette. Can't do it. So you're kind of limited into picking a sprite you want to change the uh, the icon into that is using colors from its corresponding palette. So Sir Rowley was looking into change or adding in uh, Tepeg into the game, and I was able to do that if I put it over Chimchar. Oh God. Okay. Chimchar was oh not a guy. Do I remember? 405, I think? Wait, nope. That's still a raptor. Gosh darn it. Uh, oh, that's Aaron. So it must not be too much earlier than Star Raptor. Let's try 388. Latios, Latios. Oh, we'll get 395. Uh, let's see here. 32 by 64. Close. 396. 32. 3. Or 64. Oh, no. 397. 32. 64. Okay, there we go. So this threw me off, thinking that the original palette wasn't, like, the right one, because these colors aren't correct. What you gotta do is you go Num Palette down here, and again you can switch between the three of them. So this guy is using number two, which is, I guess, number one. Uh, I'm gonna call it number one from here on out, but just remember there's a number zero. <laughs> I guess. So, um... Uh, so this one is using that specific palette there, and if I wanted to replace it, it has to have similar colors, which thankfully between Chimchar and Tepeg, they're pretty similar. So what we can do is uh, export, put it here, like so. Should appear here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, minimize. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, Sprite. Okay, and what I've got here is from the Spriter's Restore, somebody dumped all of the black and white Pokebox icons. And I am so grateful for them. So if what we'll do here is drag this guy right there. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it. Okay. And then... Doo -doo -doo. No, I want... I want to... Oh. <laughs> I'm on the paint tool. There we go. We'll start with the first one. Copy. Paste. 
No, where'd you go? I hit the wrong key. Paste. Up. Okay. Now come back, grab the second frame of animation, like so. Copy. Paste. Bring it down. Okay. And that, thankfully they kept the exact dimensions here. So that way I know that they're actually lined up properly. Very nice. Mm, very good. Now, what I had to do from here is over here in the desktop, here, here, and here, are the three pallets stored in that one location. One, two, and three, which are technically zero, one, and two. Uh, so we know that it's using one, which is uh, the second uh, pallet. So I'm going to come over here and uh, load pallet like so then come in here with the index okay now <laughs> gets a little uh it's a little weird looking but what i can do is just pick a color from here i'm gonna go with this which is a little dark a little bit dark but it's pretty well passable for when you're just doing the little icon in the box i think so there 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 and there that's pretty okay. It's just like a deep red uh, instead of his lighter orange there. Because yeah, the other ones I got in here are pink, so I can't really do that. But that will work. So then I can do file, save as. Technically, I've already done this in the past. Uh, so I'm just going to overwrite my original file, which is him. The pig. They call me Mr. The pig. Yes, good. Okay. All right. So that's about it. So we have our little guy there. So we can come back in the tank, which, oh yes, did not close it, cool. All right, so we have Numb Palette here selected, and good. So now, what's important is you want to leave Swap to Original Palette selected. Don't use Replace Palette, because all of these are using those palettes, so you change one, you change it for everyone, and it just becomes this garbled mess. You have to use the colors in there if you're going to have them all look the same, like that. So I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to import and pick Tepig. Okay, now, it looks bad, which scared me as well. I don't know why it looks bad, because if I come down here, go to the original palette, come back, he's fine. He's good. And there he is. So... This should technically work because it used all the, the, the colors and it, it was able to see what colors I used and just see the original palette without changing it at all and just mapped them. And that is so very nice for this. Okay, so you have to be very sure from this point. Otherwise, this will not change in your ROM. Up, 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 up. All the way to the top. Highlight the NARC file, hit pack. There you go. That'll make sure that when you save the ROM, like so, I'm gonna call it Pokemon Platinum 8 to correspond to my test file. I hope I spelled that right, we will find out. Save, there, yeah. Okay, and then come here. Okay, that should be good. So I can drag it, boom, replace it, boom, okay. And what I did was I just started a recent save file on this on a ROM with the same name, and I picked Chimchar. So when I boot this up, do to do do to do do to do, 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 do go player, and then I'm going to. Oh, what is it? I think it's frame skipping. There we go. Limit frame rate so it looks the right. There we go. Now it's all nice and smooth. Pokemon. There he is. So he'll work just like that, and that's. Honestly, pretty darn cool. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could change them like that. So, yeah, yeah. So I guess in Tank, if you're looking at other things, always check to see if there are multiple palettes in the same location. Because that may be why it looks like the palette file isn't the right one, but it is. I had never run into that before. So, uh, I guess that's really it. Um, if you have any questions, or if you know of other ways, like, to actually let you change which palette a uh, icon is referencing, let me know. 
because I tried playing around with it and I tried using different replace palette options here, but it just messed up the palette. It still didn't change what it was pointing to. I think that's hard coded and can't be changed. But maybe it's just enough that you can have some fun with and we can go from there. So have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Well, if any more random questions pop up. Bye bye.